If your Fire Phone is not rootable and you still want to install easily the Google Play Store, this is how to do it, coming up after the intro. Alright, so using Silk Browser, look for ES File Explorer from the Play Store and then copy the link. Now let's go to evozi.com, all the links will be in the description. Just press on there and paste it and click on generate. This websites have a lot of ads, whenever you see one just go back. Click on generate download link. And let's press on the green button. Use Silk browser. <coughs> okay, so it's on the side. Download. We can see our download file. Okay, before we install it, we need to go to settings and look for application and then prevent non Amazon apps. Make sure the first option is on, not off and click on OK. OK, we need to go back to our browser and try to install it now. Once you install it, look for the link on the description for downloading uh, Google Apps. Click on Silk Browser and it will download it again. All right, so let's repeat this process four times. I will skip to the last part. Okay. Now we need to go and look for our ES File Explorer. All the download files will be in the download folder. And now we need to rename these files from zip to APK. After we rename all of these files, we will need to um, install them in a certain order so they can work. All right, everything is fine now. Uh, let's start with the first one. Google Account Manager. Let's install that and then Google Services and then a framework, service framework, and then Play Store. I'm not installing them because I already have them, but you can just do that, it's simple. Now we can go to our Play Store and it should uh, function. I recommend going to settings and disabling do not update apps automatically because we don't want to update Amazon's apps. Anyway, congrats, you have the Play Store running and you can install all kinds of apps. Hope you guys like this video and if you want to see more, please subscribe and take care.